Welcome back to our Rocket Science channel. I'm Mr. Michael, and this video will cover Spike Prime coding blocks. For our coding blocks, we're going over, we're currently in our motors area, and I've added this block to regulate the speed for our video. This block talks about position of the hub. The hub actually has a positioning block on it that shows you where that position is. As you can see on our screen, we're currently at zero degrees. The motor we're choosing is the A motor, which we're plugged into on our screen. plugged into the A motor on our screen. And we're looking to get to the shortest path to zero. This block will allow us to do the shortest path, go in clockwise or in counterclockwise to get to position zero. There are several instances you would use each or any of those positioning requests. If you were not able to go around in a clockwise or counterclockwise position, then it would restrict and, it would, and the motor was restricted, you would need to choose one or the other, clockwise or counterclockwise, and then reverse that back and forth as if there was something here and it couldn't get back to it. Or you could just go to shortest path there if there was nothing to restrict the motor in. So we're going to position zero. Since we're currently in position zero, I'm going to put the units of measure to or position to 180 degrees. There's another way I can do that. I can slide this toggle, this arrow around either direction. Or if I'm not precise, I can just hit this plus button and add one degree per click if you're not just precise. So I'll show you an example of that. I'm going to get to, I actually got to 180. So I'm gonna to go to 175 and then plus my way up to 180. So now I'm at 180 degrees, which allow my pointer here to actually face the opposite direction. Or an easier way you can do this process is to key in 180 and then your motor positioning is set. We're gonna use our one position. We're going to download. Once we have that downloaded, we're going to share this screen, go over to position one, and we're going to hit our button to run that program. As you can see, our motor was facing up. It went around to the shortest position and went to our 180 degree area. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned and subscribe to watch other videos on other blocks and other elements we're covering with Lego Technic and other robotic codes as well. See you next time.